product owner, I don't have any guidance, and uh, I made a bunch of mistakes, and so this is kind of therapy for me, uh, decompressing after that experience, uh, and realizing a lot of the things that I did were kind of wrong. Um, I should say, since I'm representing Dorex Studios, that my comments today do not reflect the current state of the product, which I haven't worked on for two years, and are in no way representative of Dorex Studios. Um, so, uh, my point that I'm going to be making today is this. Uh, I think the dominant paradigm for product management is wrong and or poorly specified. Um, lots of people think about innovation and product development in general as if you were building trust bridges, which can be easily modeled and possess linear characteristics, and uh, where most of the thinking is in creating the specification rather than in actually building the product. Um, and that's crap. Um, we need to think differently about the way we measure cost, and in particular do less of it, and the way we measure value, and do more of that, and also the way we manage portfolios of products. And in particular, think differently about culture, and what kind of organizational culture is required for innovation. So if none of this is interesting to you, now would be a good time to go and see one of the other fine talks that are going on right now. Although I won't feel bad. So, I was made a product manager at, Go, uh, at Coolworks uh, in 2008, and uh, I had no idea how to do product management, and Thoughtworks' attitude, basically, to giving someone a new job is to say, you seem like you're not wildly incompetent, go and do this. And uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, so, you're, I thought, well, you know, uh, I found this thing called Scrum, let's find out what that says about product management. And uh, again, this is no way representative of Scrum, it's how I understood Scrum at the time. Uh, and basically what it said is, work out what you're going to build, get a big list of requirements, prioritize it, estimate it, build it, and then as a product manager you have to give feedback to the team when they build the stuff you told them to build. Off you go. And uh, so that's what I did. And it turns out, as a product manager, uh, it's really easy to come up with requirements. I came up with loads and loads of requirements. I came up with hundreds of those things, and uh, that was fabulous. And I had this great idea about how great the product was going to be. 